But there's the split. Alamont being the aggressor here, and you know, if he shoots 10 times, sooner or later, he's gonna make it work. Well, he's getting in. That's one thing you have to say. He's getting in. The King's defense thus far able to take care of it. Jared King, the proverbial slinky down there, leading 1-0 with under 30 seconds to go here in the second period over Dan Valamont of Penn State. Meanwhile, top left of your corner, Andrew Howe, 2-1 over Tyler Campbell. But the writing time, you have to factor that in, clearly favoring Andrew Howe. Please consider yourselves on deck. Nice job. Work here. Right now. Derek King, Dan Valamont, under 10 seconds now here in the second period. So it looks like they will go to the third period. 1-0 with Jared King on top. And we'll send it down now to Quinn and Jordan. We've seen Jared King use that front split as, as a counter. Uh, flexibility, partially genetic, but also something that wrestlers work on for, for a lot of hours? Sure, you can also earn your flexibility. And uh, it, it just takes persistence. Um, and, uh, and what you see King here, when he's able to split out like that, he brings a, a unique defense that people aren't used to seeing. Not everybody can split, so when somebody does, it's really tough for the guy who's on the attack to get the finish. Yeah, a guy like Ben Askren could, could split himself out, out, out of some situations. What, how do you attack a guy when he counters with a split? I mean, it's it's you you really tell me how you get the back leg when it's directly behind. I mean, it's a mystery to me, and I think that's why it's so effective. And so they re-anchor and, and they have power from that position as well. Yeah, yeah. One one key is you have to keep weight on that front foot, or else they'll lift it up. So you do have to focus on having your weight forward and look to peel hands. That way you're not entirely defensive, and you're trying to look for a, a hands peel reattack of some sort. When does the official get involved here? Um, on the um, yeah. uh, Kings not shooting. Valamont's had you know six, seven shots to a Kings lot of, none. And a lot of them good. King's staying in the center. He's had a couple of re-shots off of Valamont attacks, but it's clearly been Valamont who has been carrying the match. Two very close matches as we go under a minute on the bottom right of your screen. Jared King, the defending champion, Dan Valamont, all even at one. Under a minute 40 to go now in the third period. Andrew Howe, 3-1 on top of Tyler Campbell, and you factor in writing time. So Howe, in effect, has a 4-1 lead over Caldwell. And at some point here, Caldwell's going to have to start to think about taking a shot. Because okay, this match is exactly where Andrew Howe, Howe wants it. This yeah. is Andrew Howe's match. He's choreographed it perfectly. He got the early takedown. He's got the riding time. He's in control. Meanwhile, Dan Valamont has a single, trying to pull Jared King back to the center under 30 seconds to go. I back up and rip that leg up as high as I can and then use my left leg to try to trip King's left leg out from under him. One shot for glory right here, Dan Valamont. And there it is, the split comes into play yet again. He stayed square to him, he didn't get any kind of flanking angle as we call it. Valamont still to take advantage of that nice shot. And that is one of the most unique defensive sprawls you will see as the third period comes to a conclusion in the King Valamont match. The shot right here, and what Jeff was talking about, he wasn't able to find the angle. He was going straight on, and that just played into the splits of King. As Jordan Lean pointed out, if the leg goes straight behind you, there's no way you're going to get a hook into it. Nothing to grab. And there's that reshot re attempt by King again off a of Valamont attempt. So it's sudden victory in the bottom right. Jared King, the defending champion, all even with Dan Valamont of Penn State. Meanwhile, still 21 seconds to go. But Andrew Howe clearly in control of this one. 3-1 and with the riding time up 4-1. Just needs to ride out this last 20 seconds against Tyler Caldwell from Oklahoma. We were talking about it early. Right now, Valamont has not been, come close to getting taken down. He's got to stay patient. Patience will win for Valamont here. And he's in a good position here. No split again. My goodness. So Andrew Howe gets the victory over Tyler Caldwell. So he is into the final. And we will bring you full screen with Jared King and Dan Valamont. He gets the two. He hooked up the, he hooked up the head and the arm, at the, or head and the, uh, the leg at the same time. Got the two. He wins. He's in the finals. Talking about Dan Valamont, Penn State.
Dan Valamont in the closing seconds of sudden victory gets the win over the defending champion Jared King who seems absolutely stunned the senior from Edinburgh. Uh, he was treading on thin ice. Valamont had lots of opportunities to go ahead and score and he finally got one. A big showing for Penn State and Cale Sanderson's club. Look at this one more time. Is grabbing the head and as they go out of bounds. And it was the chin that gave the official the nod to give him the two points. Yeah, what should get him down to the shoulder and elbow? Dan Valamon is standing by with our Quint Kesnick. Dan, congratulations. What happened on that last takedown? Well, I was able to finish a little bit faster than I was on the first few. And uh, I was just able to finish right on the edge there. What was it like when, when he would go to that, that, that split? Uh, many times you were in deep, but he went to that, that front split. Uh, it's very difficult to finish in there, obviously. You got to... You gotta finish, get to your finish right away, and like I did on my last one there. And like, that's all you can do, really, finish quick. Dan, there's been a, a lot of talk about Kale Sanderson, now the head coach of Penn State. Where have you seen uh, him impact you as a wrestler the most? Really, just his outlook on the whole sport in general. I mean, he's mentally really strengthened everybody on the team, really, he's, things he tells us as a group and everything. How has he strengthened your mental game? Just makes me believe I can beat anybody in the country. So far, so good. Yep, so far. See you tomorrow night. And congratulations to Valmont as he is into the final in the 165 division. As we take a look at the bracket, it'll be Valmont of Penn State taking on Andrew Howe of Wisconsin. Should be a great one tomorrow night, 7.30 Eastern on ESPN. When we come back, we bump up to the 174s. Mac Lunas keeps the perfect record intact. Does he